What's up everybody? Welcome to the Novachenko Whips YouTube channel. Today we're going to get our Forescan done. Forescan pretty much lets you code your truck with the use of this Forescan device. I'll pop up a picture in this video of which one exactly I bought. They've gotten cheaper recently. You want, definitely want this one, the legit device. Um, Amazon's like 20 bucks, but you want the one that has the high speed and medium speed uh, protocols. And you hook it into your laptop, you download the 4Scan free software. Yep, definitely get the latest version of 4Scan at the time of this recording here in May 2024. 2.3.60 is available. Open that up, make sure you're on the high speed and connect to your truck, it'll read everything. Important thing, of course, is the truck has a lot of modules. So when you go jump to this section, let me close that glare. You jump to this section, you'll see all the modules and several of them say as built format. Forescan makes it easy that you can, I think, make changes or adjustments or change settings like folding mirrors which lights run as your daytime running lights especially if you have the raptor and you want the cool ambers around your uh headlight to be on instead of just the low beams and a bunch of other things what you'll notice though is when you get here and you're going to hit this little play button it's going to say make sure the vehicle's not moving the vehicle is in the full accessory mode which is just a single click but the vehicle is not on um Another quick tip, make sure you get like a battery tender or something to keep your battery up on voltage. That's a given for any kind of ECU tuning or remapping or any such adjustments like coding. I hit OK and it tells me, sorry, you need an extended license to run the function. The licenses are free. I think they last like two months, so mine expired. When you go to forescan.org, there's a form that you fill out. Um, and then in that form, they ask you for a specific hardware number. That hardware number is located in your, once you've connected your truck, you go to this option and then you'll copy to clipboard your hardware number. And I think they give you either a license key or a code. And once you get that, once you get that, it says it's generating it now uh, might take some time and pretty much then you'll just copy paste that and start coding I'll pick up with you then all right we're back so I'm able to download the extended license key into the download section come back uh, download it wherever and you're gonna load your license key all right it says once you are uploading the key these changes will be applied once you restart so you say yes and it's saying now hey there's a new version available i'm not exactly sure how to update the version you probably have to do it on the website um, but it says our license key is now installed let's go back to the truck all right we go back to the top left option here it shows the vehicle with the information button hit the little link button or connect Hit OK. This is going to read your profile for your truck. So we've got the EcoBoost 2018. It's going to read everything, every controller, PCM, TCM, body controller, so on and so forth. It takes a minute. Once it does this, you'll be able to save out your factory profile if you ever want to put everything back. It also says, hey, do you have a high speed and medium speed? You say yes, if your controller has that, and it's much recommended. And it says, switch it to medium speed. So I'm going to go flip that switch. Boop. Hit OK. Watch your laptop battery as well. You wouldn't want it to die on you while you're coding your truck. It's got all the modules. TRM, DSP, too many modules, I think. It's read all bazillion modules, probably more like 30. 
hit yes to save your profile. It's saved. Now we're going to go back to our modules that have the option to change things. So the as built PCM, let's hit the play button, see what it allows us to do. Aha, it's smart. So it's saying, hey, switch your device back to high speed. Boop. Sorry for the blurriness. It's reading that up. They're saying, you know, warning, don't write incorrect values. I'm going to link up in the description the location of the Forescan spreadsheets for all the most common functions. And then, of course, there's more extensive. Uh, for example, here I'm looking at everything for the Ford F-150 plus Raptor. But they have plenty of makes and models from Ford and Lincoln and the Ford um, other vehicles the trucks, the Ford Flex, the Explorer, and things like that. And also, I think the Lincoln uh, Aviator and Navigator, you might be able to do some stuff. Quick note I wanted to add when you're initially reading your vehicle, make sure you're in the high speed setting or else it won't uh, be able to link to your vehicle. But right now, I'm just going to show you some of the most common changes people do on their Ford forums, you'll see a lot of things, but a lot of people change uh, change the DRLs, the auto stop start, uh, power folding mirrors to do either the Lincoln or uh, auto folding mirrors regularly with lock and unlock, the cool global window close and open using your key fob. Um, there's kind of like these forced Canadian DRLs, the double honk when you close the truck while it's running with the key in your pocket, super annoying. Um, what else? You can put the steering wheel heater and the seat climate controls uh, on the main screen, which is very useful. If you don't want to push the buttons, it's just nice to have it. And then you can show your temps above those gauges over there. Oftentimes it doesn't show those temps. You can also disable um, fake engine noises, which is a good idea if you have that. Another quick update with the latest version of Forescan, you can go into all the modules, don't say as built, you go into them, it reads them, and it's a much nicer user interface. As you can see, it lists out the options and then it lists out the uh, status or the value and you can adjust those. Uh, you can change lots of things and it's much easier than simply writing these codes. Uh, you can explore in here, right? Things that are enabled, disabled. Uh, when the door is open, your splash screen that you get when you start up the chime, whether you, well, the truck, whether you get the chimes and the various sounds or not. It's pretty cool. Real well worth it. So we've got the auto folding mirrors working. And I'm looking to adjust the daytime running lights. Also, now when you have the car running and you jump out with the key, it doesn't go bonk, bonk, and scare you every single time. See, now we see the actual temps for our water and diff. I think on the left, the oil gauge is a pressure gauge, not a temp gauge. Check that out. Now you can get your heated and cooled seats on this main touchscreen as well as the heated steering wheel. Before you had to go into that menu, I think in climate settings. Yeah, you'd have to go in here and like navigate. Now you have quick access on the home screen. Love it. Formerly the daytime driving lights would just be the dimmed low beam but now you can turn on the ambers you can also turn it on to have this bright amber turn signal but that turn signal is more of a brighter yellow like that i don't know i'll drive it around like this for a bit and if i do want more amber uh, for the daytime running light i'll do that something that i've seen online is people try to disable that drl the daytime running uh, low, low beam they're not really able to in a couple of years of trucks. So 
let's see, this is in the auto setting. Of course, if you switch it to fully off, it's off. All right. Then if you switch it to parking lights only, formerly, I remember this would only give you the ambers and not the low beam, but now it does give you the low beam. That's interesting. I'll have to see the difference in the coating. And then if you turn on your actual low beams, they uh, turn on a bit brighter. So they have two settings, a dimmer and a brighter setting. In the truck menu, you can also go to settings. Go advanced settings, vehicle, lighting. Let's see, can I show you this better? Lighting, daytime lights off, and it's still in the auto position. It turns off the whole thing. So I'm gonna mess around with it, try to only get the ambers because those look better. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps you out with coding your truck. Enjoy.